Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slant Lens, we're up here in the snow shooting lifestyle product shots of the new Black Rapid Retro Strap. So let's get started and see what we can do. It's gonna be cold, but it's gonna be fun. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slant Lens, we're up here at Tibble, Tibble Fork? Tibble Fork, Fork and Spoon, Fork Knife and Spoon Reservoir, Tibble Fork Reservoir in Utah. It's not near as cold as Idaho was, but it's certainly beautiful up here. Got a little wind going, so you might hear that in the sound. I apologize for that. But today we're gonna to talk about how to do a lifestyle product shoot. Lifestyle product is really a great way to make money in the industry these days because everyone has products, but they wanna see it in use. They wanna see people using them in kind of situations that talk about the product and give you a perspective about what the product is and what it does. So today we're doing our shoot with the Black Rapid Retro Strap. Now this is a strap that was on the market at one time and they re-released it. It's an incredible strap because it's just a basic, great strap. Great padding on the shoulder, place to put your credit card. So we're gonna to wanna to show the strap and the different features in the way we shoot this. So we're gonna talk about the different steps on how to do a lifestyle product shoot. So let's just talk about the strap and how you set it on here. It's a simple process. It's got a little carabiner that clips onto the back. And uh, this is, it comes out here, we can take it off. It's got a safety strap that hooks to the side. So it's important that your talent understand how to use the product. There's nothing worse than in a great product shot, the lighting's great, the scene is fabulous, but they're holding the product wrong or they're using it incorrectly. Client's gonna see it every time and they're gonna reject all of those. So just make sure that you understand how to use the product. Cameras are easy because I use cameras all the time, but if it's a product that you're not used to, make sure you understand the product, teach your talent so they know how to use it, so when you get out there, the images are gonna be a lot more useful to you. Let them practice a little bit with them. I always tell people if we're doing cameras, take pictures, you know? So you, you start to get in the routine, you'll start to understand and it'll feel very comfortable to you. It's like a movie script. I wanna tell a story, which means I need a great establishing shot. I mean, we've got beautiful mountains here, we're in the snow, we wanna see that there's snowshoeing, so I wanna do great establishing shots, wider lenses, so I see all the, the scenic stuff around them. But then I'm gonna to wanna to punch into the product to see how the product's used, to see what they're doing. I want to get a sense of their relationship together. So I want to get medium shots to see them laughing, talking, kissing, doing all those kinds of things. I mean, do people kiss when they're out taking pictures? I, yeah, I guess these guys do. So there you go. <laughs> so you want to start to tell that story about what's happening with different lenses. I always say wide, tight, and interesting. Get a really wide shot as, a, as an establishing shot. Go in for tight shots of the product to show how it's used, show what you do with it. Then get interesting shots. Lay on the ground, get up high, look for interesting light. You know, make it wide, tight, and interesting. That's really what you need. It's really important to get comfortable with your talent. Talk with them, joke with them, ask them where they're from, what they do. Get a sense about who they are. Let them feel that you're a genuine person, that they're genuine people. Because when you start shooting, you want them to feel very comfortable doing the things you're asking to do and make that just a very smooth kind of process. Now, I love working with couples. They're a couple because it's automatic chemistry. They're used to snuggling up with each other. They're used to kissing each other. You know, it's, you're not gonna be in an awkward situation when you ask people to, to start to get into each other's space a little bit. So I love working with couples in that way. It's just a very easy way to make that comfortable and I think the, the shoot's a lot more successful. So my go-to lens when I shoot any kind of product lifestyle thing any kind of lifestyle is a 7200 millimeter lens, and there's a couple of reasons. It's a 2.8 lens, which means I'll go to 2.8 or maybe f4, which is what I've been shooting a lot on it today is f4. I'm not stopped down all the way, so it's slightly sharper, but I can still get nice bokeh and nice uh, stuff out of focus in the background. I want the background out of focus when I'm doing those tighter images. When I go to 70 millimeters, I get a, a little sense, a better sense of the scene. I love the 70 to 200. It's a great walk around shoot lens. I shoot it on uh, burst, high speed burst, because I'm hand holding it. And I would take a breath and shoot. And I just want to, as I shoot, have two or three or four of the same shot in case one's slightly out of focus. I'll generally get something in that burst that's gonna be in focus. So I'm gonna have eight and 10 shots of the same thing but one of them is going to be in focus because I'm hand holding a 7200 millimeter lens. A uh, monopod is not a bad idea for doing this. Just working on a monopod, uh, something with a foot pedal on it so you can raise it up and down. Not a bad way to work at all, but the 7200 is great. I also carry a 2470 if I want just really great wide shots, and this is a great place to do it in. It's so scenic, I go to a 2470. So those are my two lenses, but my 7200 is where I usually start. So if I'm out working in a situation like this where I'm gonna be moving around and it's rough terrain, then I use a backpack. I got my Vanguard backpack here. I'll put my batteries, cards, and extra lenses in that so I can just move and shoot. So I use my backpack when I'm out on location. But if I'm in LA, I'm gonna walk around the street, I pull a little wagon, throw my stuff in that wagon, and we just run and gun and, and shoot that way. It just makes it easy to work out of the wagon to have things there to work out of. 
So you've got a dress so you can get down on the ground so you can get those low angle shots. That wide, tight, and interesting, it's really important to be able to get on the ground. I can't tell you how many times I rolled around on the concrete, on the road in Los Angeles. I have no idea what's on that road, although I kind of do have an idea. But dress so you can get down. So like right, right now, I can't see the mountain back there behind him like I want to. The only way I'm going to get that mountain into play is if I get myself onto the ground and shoot from right here. And then it's perfect. Oh, actually, it's beautiful. Okay, let's have you guys looking with your cameras now off to the side. Just like that. Yeah, looking at your, there you go. That's perfect. Looking over, Evan. So what I've got going on here is something I like to pick up while I'm doing this kind of product uh, lifestyle shoot is I've got them isolated behind the White Mountain here, but I'm going to shoot a broad shot that gives me all of this blue sky above it. Why do I do that? Because it gives you a great place to run type. I like to give you those wide shots that give them place for type and placement, or you can stick other images in there. They should become epic shots. You see the two of them with the product in the corner, but you see all this blue space. So in this situation, these wider shots give us a great context. We see them in context of what they're doing, the event that they're participating in, their snowshoeing, the mountains. We see all that in those wide shots. So those wide shots really give us kind of context of what's going on. You don't want to do too many of those because the product is so small, we're not going to be able to see very much of it. But you need some of those so it can give you a sense. If you put two or three of these on a page, you're going to want that wide epic shot, the tight shot, just like we talked about before, wide, tight, and interesting. We're done shooting around and we're done, ready to wrap this thing up. We've shot all around the reservoir, up here on the mountain. What have I learned about this process? I've learned that you cannot shoot enough. You've got to shoot those wide, tight, and interesting. You've got to make sure you're very comfortable with your talent. You've got to make sure you get tight shots of the product so you see that product in use, and epic shots and shots with background that you can use for type. All those things are going to come together. This is a great product here from uh, Black Rapid, a strap that just came back out on the market. You're going to want to check it out because it's a strap that I think you'll enjoy using. It will help you do your photography. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. I knew that was coming. I'm looking back there. I'm trying to do my dialogue and Jeline's making a snowball. That's what she's doing. She's making a snowball. My camera's getting wet. Oh, right on my camera? Oh no. All right, so here we go. Exactly, all right, here we go. One thing, here we go. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. <laughs> Were you rolling? <laughs> it's got a... Here at the Stun Lens, we're really big on business. So get over to thestunlens.com and buy our business downloads. It's 16 segments, so it will help you shape your business. Plus, it comes with a group call in once a month with me where you can ask all your questions. So get over to thestunlens.com today. What is that? <laughs> all I see is Jeline's hand going like this. I'm going, what, you want me to move over? <laughs> and now I get it. Now I got it. <laughs> I've learned that you can get too comfortable with your talents. <laughs> <laughs>